Hey guys, it's Harma with the Harma channel. Thanks for watching my channel again. Today I'm gonna to talk about a story why your first investment properties that you purchase has to be calculated. I made a few mistakes buying my first investment properties and I will make sure that um, I share with you so you don't make the same mistake. I'm here in Cambria. I love Central Coast. I love the ocean. I'm here looking at an investment property for myself, for the future. It's a beautiful day and I'm outside just working on my computer, having a glass of wine. And I remembered my first investment property that I purchased in 2005. So today I want to share with you what I learned from it. I remember 2005, I was in Palm Springs at Mike Ferry Superstar Retreat. I was at the bar after the whole day seminar was over and I was exchanging business cards with this beautiful couple, Fred and Rana Beecher. They're amazing couple. They're in Shreveport, Louisiana and they gave me their business cards. I, I was about to put the business card away and I flipped the business card. The back of business card said, own your investment property, two to four units, for only $50,000. Small town, small community, uh, military base. I made it to Shreveport and I had dinner with them. The next morning they took me to show properties and there was bullet holes all over where your waist is. I was shocked and I said, you know what? Investment properties, it doesn't matter. Emotion cannot be involved. You wanna let the investment property be the business. The local lender, who helped me required five to seven thousand dollars per property. Guess what? I had enough, not enough to even buy a small condo in LA, but I ended up buying four different properties. Then I started looking for a management company. I ended up going with the guy who dropped the price to eight percent, husband and wife team, and the husband was a pastor in a local church. And I said, fantastic, they're never gonna lie to me. I trust them, and that was it. I promise you, if you think you will put the least amount of money down and that will be an investment property, and if you believe your management company will never come back to you and ask you for more money, and if you believe your first property that you purchase as an investment, it is okay to be out of town, you're making a big mistake. And that is why I think your first investment property it's important for you to be able to see with your eyes so you learn. You have to build a relationship with the management company that you trust. You also need to put enough down so you don't be out of pocket as much. So here are the five lessons that I have for you that it will help you on your first purchase as an investment property. This video is about five things you need to know before you buy your first investment property. Number one, it's very important to put 20% down. When you put 20% down, you get a better rate, you get a better terms with the lender. And number two, if you cannot drive to it, don't buy it. Don't buy out of state on your first property and assume your management company will do a good job. And they charge you 10%, but when you look into all the repairs they charge you, you might be way over 25, 30%, and that's a lot of income that you will lose. Number three, if you cannot own it for 10 years, don't own it for 10 minutes. That is what Warren Buffett says, and I believe in that. Historically, it's proven that we have a real estate cycle every 10 years. So if you buy a property now, and then a year from now, market goes down, but you don't care, because if you can keep it for another nine years, market will be back up and you're fine. Number four, don't be emotionally attached to what you're buying. The moment you let emotion get involved in business, you lose money. You buy something that is durable, you, is rentable, and accessible, high in demand. Those are the things you should focus. Not that, oh my God, I walked in, I just feel connected to this house. Run, that's not the right investment. Number five, don't buy a distressed properties or foreclosures or REO as your first investment unless you have additional money to repair the property besides your 20% you will be paying for the repairs for the next 10 years. And what I'm trying to tell you, 
buy something. So for the next 10 years, your out of pocket is so little that it doesn't affect your financials. And good luck and try to reach out if you have any questions.